Colin, Mahai Modern, here with our first market update of the year. We're here in mid-January. We're going to talk a little bit about December 2023, 2023 in general, and what kind of market dynamics to expect in 2024. 2023 ended with average sold prices remaining up, City of Boulder and Denver Metro, a slight adjustment in Boulder County. But what I really want to focus on here is that 2023 had the highest interest rate environment in four decades. And in the face of the, the highest interest rate, the highest cost of money environment in four decades, pricing held. Pricing held, active listings were down, days on market were up. So keep in mind that created a little bit of a buyer pool that's been stacking up and waiting for interest rates to go down or prices to go down. Now. The latter, I don't think is gonna happen. I don't believe prices are going to go down, especially given we really held strong in 2023. So the next thing that buyers are waiting for is going to be interest rate environment to be more favorable. And of course, it's become very expensive on the buy side. I completely understand where many of you are coming from. But keep in mind on the buy side that we have spillover people from 2022, 2023, and now a traditional buyer pool entering into the market in 2024 with really dearth of inventory, which is a characteristic of our local markets always. So just be on the lookout for that dynamic where we have a real scarce amount of inventory and a tremendous amount of buyers out looking to execute transactions. I want to flip the understanding here with or the conversation to sellers. I think sellers this year is a really great time to be out and looking to execute a sales side transaction. Fully acknowledge that many of you will be turning around and buying. And so in the past, we've talked about the balance of power being probably the most opportune time to execute these sell buy transactions. And when the balance of power becomes a little bit more equal, I know that when it was an extreme seller's market, it was really challenging to do a sell and then buy, and you were just super pressured into that buy side transaction. So that wasn't the most ideal time to do so. Right now, I do see a little bit more seller favor, which will enable you to get great terms, of course, capitalize on equity, and also execute an overall transaction that is the sell and the buy that really fits your needs. You might be able to be more deliberate on the buy side and take your time. You may be able to, of course, shop non-contingent. I have solutions for that so that you're not getting a bridge loan. You're not having the right contingent offers. There are ways around this that don't cost you any money. Of course, nothing against writing contingent offers or bridge loans if that is the strategy that works best for you. Looking towards the sell environment here, I do think that we're gonna see an extended buying and selling period. So be on the lookout for opportunities throughout the year. Of course, it's never a better time to own real estate in Colorado. And I'm here to help support you, friends, family, anyone that could benefit from this message or an introduction. I'm here to take care of them. Until next month, take care, ciao.